Hello everybody, welcome back to the Dugout Football Channel, where this time it means that uh, the first matches of the 22-23 Stinch Scottish Premiership season are underway. Yes, they are underway on Saturday and the fixtures are going across the bottom of your screen there. Uh, guys, get your predictions in the comment section down below as well. Yes, another Cinch Premiership season campaign is about to get kicked off. And it is going to be very, very interesting. Can Celtic manage to uh, make it back-to-back? -back? Will Rangers get 56? And who will go down? But first things first, like, share and subscribe. Do what you can to support the channel. So the first game of the new season, and it is a 12 o'clock kickoff on Saturday, it is Livingston against Rangers. Back at the Tony Macaroni Arena, these two met on the first day last season and Rangers ran out 3-0 winners against Livingston. But of all, of all the things that Livingston have obviously done this season is that they have got Shamal George from Colchester United. And I think that is a very, very good signing. Other signings include, obviously, Ismail Goncalves, Jamie Brandon um, uh, as well. Outgoings, Craig Sibold, Keegan Jacobs. There are, there's definitely a few that have obviously gone out. Alan Forrest is, is a big, big loss um, as well. But Livingston always seem to punch above their weight. And I do think this is going to be really, really interesting first game because... Nobody likes to go to the Tony Macaroni Arena. Everyone uh, always gets a game when you go there. So I expect Rangers to have a, a, a good game in, in this one. Rangers, um, they have had a, a good good wee transfer window, it has to be said. Uh, signs include Ben Davis, Rabbi Matondo, uh, Marcus Tillman of uh, Bar Munich um, uh, as well. So... This is going to be a very, very interesting game. Um, it's not the easiest of starts for Rangers. And, uh, of course, they will be in Champions League action midweek. So maybe, maybe there may be a few changes. But uh, with this game, I think Rangers are going to win this one. Uh, I think it is a very, very hard game for them. But um, I'm going to give Livingston a goal. I am going to give Livingston a goal. But I think Rangers will come out on top in this one. I'm going for, a, for Livingston 1. Rangers 3. I think uh, it could be a very interesting first game, but I'm going for Livingston 1, Rangers 3. So we move on to the 3 o'clock games, and we have Hearts against Ross County. Both of these sides ending up in the top six last season. Hearts finishing third, Ross County finishing sixth. So it was a very, very good season for County as well. Hearts have bolstered with the signings of Lawrence Shankland and Alan Forrest. Ross County have uh, signed Jan Donda from Swansea. And uh, Jordi Hewula as well. So very, very interesting uh, first game, this one. Um, Hearts will want to obviously finish best of the rest. Um, yeah, if you, if, you watch, if you watch Sky Sports News, and uh, I know that a lot of people do, uh, one of the Hearts, um, I think it was managing director, actually thinks that uh, they could finish second this season. So uh, we'll have uh, anything what he's drinking. But I have to say, Hearts have been very, very impressive. They've been very, very good as well. Ross County, I think it's going to be a tricky season for them. I think it is going to be a very, very tricky season for them. Malky Matai did a fantastic job. Regan Charles Cook has now left. So that is a big, big blow uh, as well. But for me, I think it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a very good opening game. Um, but I am going to go for a home win in this one. I think Hearts will be too strong uh, for Ross County. And I'm going to go for Hearts 2, Ross County nil. And now we have the new boys, Kilmarnock against Dundee United. A very, very interesting game, this one, because Kilmarnock back in the Premiership. Um, and you know, to be honest, they had a very, very good season last season, managing to get promotion uh, ahead of our growth. Uh, it's all changed at Dundee United. This isn't it? Jack Ross is now the new manager. They have signed Craig Sibold. They have lost Benjamin Segrist as well. 
So that's going to be really, really interesting. But they have got Mark Berigiti from uh, the Australian League um, as well. It, 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 you know, there is a lot of Aussies in this um, in this season, and uh, it is it is nice to it is nice to see uh, the Aussies come to our league. Uh, it is very very good. Anyway, but Kamarnock, um, this is an interesting game. This one, um, not an easy first game for Dundee United uh, at all, and Kamarnock always make it difficult for you. And under Derek McInnes, I think their squad isn't the best, Kamarnock, but I think with the way that um, Derek McInnes played last season, I think if they get that into their game this season, I think Kamarnock could uh, could easily um, stay in this league. I really, really do, but. Uh, yeah, that's a tricky one to call. This is a very, very tricky one to call. I'm going to go for a draw on this one. I, I'm going to go for Kilmarnock 1, Dundee United 1. And now we have St. Johnston against Hibernian. St. Johnston probably expected to struggle, losing a lot of key players. I mean, Xander Clark has obviously left the club, but uh, he is still without a club, which is very interesting. I thought he would have uh, easily had a club. By now, but he hasn't, and uh, he could potentially sign on uh, for another season. And I think if they do, I think if he does that, then I think St. Johnson will be fine. But losing Sean Rooney, that is a big, big blow. Losing him, losing a player of that calibre uh, as well. Uh, Jamie McCart has obviously gone to Rotherham as well, so it's not not been not been the best window for. Um, not been the best window for uh, St. Johnston, it has to be said. I mean, they have brought Jamie Murphy, they have brought Andy Considine, but are those two going to be, you know, better than the players that they've already got? I'm not so sure. And uh, obviously, Andy Considine is obviously coming off the back of a serious knee injury as well. Hibs, it's all change at Hibs, isn't it? It's all change at Hibs. Josh Doig is gone. Um... Uh, Matt Macy has gone um, as well. And, of course, Lee Johnson has now become the new manager at Hibernian. So it's going to be very, very interesting as well. They have crashed out of the League Cup uh, as well, have Hibs. So that that, that, that's, that could be a good factor, actually, that they can just focus on the on the league. And then, obviously, the, later on in the in the year that uh, the Scottish Cup will be there um, as well. So it's going to be very, very an, an interesting game, but I'm just going to go for Hibs. I think Hibs will win this one, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 win to the High Bees. So that takes care of all the Saturday games, and now we will move on to the Sunday games, St Mirren against Motherwell. This game is obviously on Sunday because Motherwell are in Europa Conference League action against Sligo Rovers, and that could be a very, very interesting game, couldn't it? Um, look, I think St Mirren are going to struggle this season. They have had a lot of players that have gone out. Jack Alnick has gone. Connor McCarthy has gone. Uh, there have been a lot of lot of interesting players that have obviously came in. Derek Lynn Gallagher has come in. Marco Hara has come in. Trevor Carson has come in. It feels like it's a motherable tribute act for St Mirren. It kind of feels like that way, doesn't it? But um, it's going to be an interesting game because you look at St Mirren, I look at St Mirren's chances this season, and Stephen Robinson against his former club, it's not the, not the easiest of starts, isn't it? It's not the easiest of starts, is it? Motherwell, um, I don't know about Motherwell this season. I really, really don't. I mean, they've only made two signings and obviously Paul McGinn uh, joining from Hibs. And uh, that was an interesting one, actually. He signed a new contract to Hibs but wanted to be released from his contract, which is uh, very, very interesting. Eh? But Motherwell, it, they have signed Kevin Van Veen on a, a one-year extension as well. But... I don't know. I don't rate Graham Alexander as a manager. I don't think he is the right man for man Mullable. I really, really don't. And I think it could be a season of struggle for Mullable. I really, really do. I think it could be a, a season of struggle for Mullable. Um, first game, don't know how to predict this one. Um, I'm actually going to say that this ends in stalemate. I am going to go for St. Midden nil. Mullable nil. So we have a nil-nil on the first opening day of the season. We shall see. We shall see as well. And at 4.30, we have the champions, Celtic, taking on Aberdeen. Uh, both sides had a interest, contrasting seasons. Celtic did obviously go on and win the um, Scottish League Cup. And also they did go on and win the league 
Um, Aberdeen, they finished in 10th place. So they'll definitely be wanting a, an improvement, wouldn't they? Uh, look, I think Celtic have had a bit, another good uh, transfer window. Carter Vickers is back. Jota is back. Days and Maida is back. And they've also got Aaron Moy. They've managed to sign Aaron Moy as well. Look, near Beton, Tom Rogic have obviously gone. I think they they are two big, big key ones for me. Uh, Barkas is gone. He wasn't any good. Let's be honest, he wasn't, he wasn't any good, was he? But uh, Celtic they still got Koyogo Furuhashi, who I expect to probably be at the World Cup in, for Japan this, uh, this um, November. I was about to say this summer. Um, I, I keep forgetting that the World Cup is actually in... Um, in November, but uh, it is one of those things, isn't it? But Aberdeen, they definitely need a better season, uh, for, for sure. They have had a, an interesting transfer window, haven't they? They have lost um, very, very key players. Andy Considine to St Johnston, I think he was going to go out on, on anyway. But um, Calvin Ramsey's gone to Liverpool as well. So it could be a very, very interesting season for Aberdeen but unfortunately Celtic will want to perform in front of their fans they do have the championship flag to unfurl as well I'm going to go for a very comfortable Celtic 3 Aberdeen nil. I think Celtic will win by three goals to nil. So there we go. There are my predictions for the opening games of the new season. Uh, guys, get your predictions in the comment section down below. I will go for my predictions very, very quickly. So I've got Livingston 1, Rangers 3, Hearts 2, Ross County 0, Kilmarnock 1, Dundee United 1, St Johnston 1, Hibernian 2, St Mirren 0, Motherwell 0, and Celtic 3, Aberdeen 0. So thank you very much for watching this first opening day uh, fixtures for the new since Scottish Premiership season. I will be back with match week number two very, very soon. But until then, enjoy the first games. I'm pretty sure you will. Uh, Livingston Rangers is obviously the game to kick off the season. That is on Sky Sports uh, Scotland. I think it's Sky Sports Scotland on a Saturday. That is a 12 o'clock kickoff. Uh, and then also, I believe that Celtic Aberdeen is also on Sky on Sunday at half past four. Two, obviously, see the championship flag being unfurled. But what I will say is good luck to every single team for the rest of the season. Unless you're playing Livingston, of course. Unless you're playing Livingston, of course. But uh, I do wish all your teams very, very uh, the best of luck for the new season. Uh, enjoy the football. I'm really glad that football is back. Finally back. Woohoo! And um, yeah, we shall see what happens on the opening games. Can the Livy Lions manage to tame the Bears of Rangers. Can Aberdeen spoil the unfurling of the championship flag at Celtic? And could Kilmarnock get a first win of the new season? I will see you all very, very soon for match week number two. Take care. Bye-bye for now. Enjoy the football. Cheers. Bye-bye. <laughs>